Hey friends, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel, Hearth and Apron. So here you're gonna find all kinds of things that are creative homemaking. Sometimes we cook, clean, declutter. Sometimes we're doing things more for fun with fun recipes, movie night ideas, adventures, holiday decor and fun. Today, as you can see, we are hanging out in the kitchen because this is part of my cookbook collaboration challenge and I am so excited because I am cook teaming up with a group of amazing YouTubers and we have all come together to share some fun recipes with you from our favorite cookbooks. Now, these ladies know how to cook. Like, I have tried some of their recipes, I watch them cook on their videos all the time and you do not want to miss the inspiration that they have for you. So when you are done with today's video, make sure to head your way down to the description and check out that playlist. And don't forget to let them know that I sent you their way. Now, before you head out though, make sure you stick around because we are going to be cooking from one of my favorite cookbooks today, which from Crook to Cook, Snoop Dogg's Platinum Recipes from that Boss Dogg's Kitchen. Now, you guys, Snoop can cook. I can tell you that. I absolutely love this recipe book. And not only because of the fantastic recipes, but also because obviously the novelty of it's Snoop. But not all of the recipes are like crazy expensive recipes. Like he really keeps in mind that some people are on a budget and just has some simple recipes that are really good but also not gonna break your budget. And I, I appreciate that. Now he has some fancy things in here too that like are jaw dropping. You should see a picture of him with his lobster. You guys gotta get this cookbook if nothing else to see him with the lobster. It is so cute. Um, so <laughs> let's go ahead and start cooking from this. We're gonna start out with Snoop's breakfast as we make some billionaires, billionaires bacon. After that, we are gonna be working on dinner because it is time for some Dirty South Gumbo. And you guys, we've made this recipe before, but I had to share it with you again because we are working with this cookbook and it is one of my favorites. You guys, this gumbo is bomb. You're gonna be doing yourself a discredit if you do not try it out. So stick around and let's go ahead and get cooking. So I went ahead and threw up the instructions on the screen for you right here so that you can take a screenshot. And I am just going to mix together these few ingredients and put them evenly over top of some bacon on a lined pan and go ahead and cook them. This turned out wonderful. It was a little bit spicy, but I definitely enjoyed it. Today's your time. You climb, you grow, you fall. Get back up, ask for mo. A long way to go. Seen a crowd sound fine. Head hanging out the window every time you take a drive. Gonna soak up all this life like you alive. This the only one you got. Don't you toss it to the side. Right now's the only time you'll ever be. Right here on this day, in this moment, in this place. Look around, what you take it all in for a phase. And it's gone and in place is a place You never thought that you'd be Where you ask why you ain't Where you want, that's just all It's alright, let it fall Or we'll rebuild it Stronger than it was before You're resilient, you're brilliant There's love in us all You're okay You're alright Every day is your time You alive This might be all that I know. Think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow. I have my own pay. Go the wrong way. No one taught me how to walk, but I figured it out. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Look. Yeah. Look at how far we done made it. I put it all on the table. Try my product to cable cars and the soldiers that raise me. A tribe of women from heaven that brought me miracles daily. Now they the ones that he's saving. Moms ain't the same since my grandma faded, then turned to an angel. When well, she could see me right now. Wanted to know that we major, see from all of the angles Can't ever turn off my brain, from everything we done saying But I'm just shocked that I'm stable if there's a This bacon is bomb It's like Woo! It's got some kick too If you have little kids that are gonna eat this bacon Definitely tone back the chili a little that's really good. So right here, I was actually gonna take that billionaire's bacon and I was gonna attempt to make this mile high omelet with you guys. I'll show you some quick clips of how it ended up turning out. But frankly, I just 
I'm not able to make omelets. I don't know. It's like the whole shape and like the folding over part of it. Like maybe one in 20 omelets turns out. It's definitely not the recipe. It's entirely user malfunction. So as opposed to like go through all of that, we're just gonna skip ahead and I'm gonna show you how to make that dirty South gumbo. All right, let's talk gumbo. So basically this is a lot of prep. I did put the ingredients here on the page. There was not enough room to write out the actual instructions for you guys, but I am gonna take you through step-by-step step as I make this. Now, as I said earlier, it's largely prep, so we're going to get our sausage ready as well as our veg vegetable mix, which we puree in the blender, get our chicken prepped, and then we are going to head to the pan where we cook up our chicken in some of our oil. Now, you are supposed to cook this for four to five minutes and then flip it and set it aside. I felt like this made a huge mess, and so I eventually ended up putting on my lid, and I felt like not only did the chicken cook a lot faster and more evenly, because I did this on the second batch that I did off screen, but also it just made so much less of a mess. So if you're going to make this, I definitely recommend using a lid on your cast iron here. But once this is all cooked, we are going to set it aside to cool and we will come back later and shred that. You better keep that shit intact instead of assuming no words. Girl, I'm just here stating facts. You want me to take you back. I want you to take me back. You want me to take you back. I want you to take me back. So tell me, is you going to ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people when it get hot I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall See, they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been royal And that's from the sun Yeah It is time to start our roux. So you will see that we have added the extra oil from our recipe into the pan as well as our flour. And we are just gonna kind of continue to mix this around in the pan until it pulls up some of that flavor that we were using on that chicken from the bottom of the pan, as well as cooks this roux into a kind of nice brown. Once we get there, we are going to add in this vegetable mixture. And because I actually did not have celery, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of dehydrated celery. And then I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. And that was not because I didn't have anything, but largely just because I was lazy. So then you're just gonna go ahead and make a gravy with this. You know, as you know, if you've made gravy before, it's a lot of stirring. We're going to add four cups of chicken broth because I made a half batch here. And then I'm, while that's, kind of warming up, I am going to just shred up that chicken and get it ready. Then I'm going to add it to my broth and gravy mix that I've made here, add one bay leaf and cover it up and let it cook for one hour straight. I really feel like this made a big difference for the flavor, um, so don't cut any corners on your time here. Um, after that, it is time to munch out and try this. You guys, I think you are going to love it.
individually to your plates so that it's not too overwhelming for them but for my family I think it has just got the perfect kick mm -hmm. just as amazing as I remember it don't miss out on trying out Snoop's recipes I'll also have that cookbook link down below so that you can try out all of his other fun that he has let me know which one of these recipes was your favorite one today. And don't forget to check out that playlist. I'm sure all of these fantastic ladies have some tremendous ideas to share with you today. I know I personally can't wait to check it out. I will see you next time, and I hope that your day is just absolutely magical. <laughs>